welcome to my youtube channel this is ajit kumar and the, in this video we will talk about the soft delete so as you know that uh, uh, microsoft azure is having a feature called soft delete which this is the soft deletion uh, uh, definition uh, the soft delete um, protect your data from uh, being accidentally deleted by maintaining the deleted data in the system for a specific period of time so this a specific period of time we are defining uh, from our end we can define from our end either uh, microsoft uh, means uh, from azure end yeah, by default it's having the seven day so i will be uh, so in uh, the portal later during the retention period you can restore a soft deleted container and its content to the containers state at that time it was deleted so this is the benefit of that soft deletion feature let's uh, go ahead and check the microsoft documentation what it's saying so the soft the uh, this is this is for the container soft delete for uh, delete for containers and here is soft delete for blobs as well so this uh, this let's go one by one i will be go for first for the container here it's mentioned that container soft delete protect your data by accidentally deleted by maintaining the de delete data in the system for a specific period of time during the retention period you can restore a uh, soft deleted container so uh, you can restore and it's contain so th this is the feature what are the recommendation uh, for data protection so here here are some of that uh, uh, recommendation are mentioning here container deleted uh, soft delete a uh, blob versioning blob soft delete so how do we can uh, how container uh, soft delete works so here it's mentioned that when you enable the soft delete you can specify a retention period for the deleted containers if that is in between 1 to 365 days okay so i i will show you later in this uh, uh let, let's go and uh, to uh, suppose i will go to the one of the recovery services where we are um, backing up the data for that uh, uh, virtual, virtual machine disk and other so if you go to the properties and uh, you can find here one of the thing called a security update if you go over there is here you can see that the soft deletion retention period is available 14 day it is by default for that recovery service world and here is the uh, enable uh, it's enabled for that one if you uh, uncheck that one uh, and any backup is happened on here in this uh, you know, recovery service world and you trying to delete that one it, it got to be it, it got deleted okay so here uh, here i will be uh, i mean uh, enable the soft deletion part and confirm that one after that we can update that one so after that uh, means uh, if you delete uh, if you delete any any of the data any of the backup from the recovery service world uh, the retention period will be the 14 days as we have defined here so after 14 days the all over your data will be uh, deleted permanently so this is the uh, features so if your uh, vms are uh, backed backed up for, uh, in this recovery service world so by default it uh, the backup will be not uh, or you or, or else you are trying to delete this recovery service world so at that time you need to go to the properties and update that security then only you will be able to delete, delete this recovery service world i have created one of the video i will be uh, mark and mark in this link you will go you you can go over there and see how do we can delete that uh, recovery service world or change that recovery service world so you need to disable that one only and then only you will be able to delete this recovery service world uh, uh, this is the features also or else uh, uh, i will be go ahead and uh, i'll let let me show you one of the you can also find from the storage account
let's create a one of the storage account and i will show you so i am marking as a name storage demo soft soft delete okay and marking is lrs after that once you go to that data protection you can also able to see this soft deletion method by default it, it will be would be checked for that uh, soft delete for blobs soft delete for, uh, for container and the file share so you can able and by default it's having the seven days so uh you can yeah here it's mentioning that the default retention period is seven days so as you can see the container for the container the retention day by default is having the seven day so within seven day if you uh, if you uh, if you realize that yeah uh, uh, by accidentally your you have deleted any of that uh, data from your uh, storage account you can you can easily go and re, uh, you can be able to restore that one okay and this is similar for that uh, blob so here here uh, you can also see that the retention period how long the data uh, remains available after it's deleted okay so how how uh, deletion are handled and when soft delete is enabled when blob soft delete is enabled the deleting uh, blob marks that blob as a soft deleted no snapshot is created when the retention period expires the soft deleted blob is permanently deleted as i mentioned after retention period it got be deleted permanently so this is the uh, features for that soft deletion so hope this video you are uh, is really helpful to you and uh, knowledgeable please like my my video and subscribe my channel thank you so much